What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got another video for you, this time on GitHub. So basically I have a couple of open source projects that I'm working on, one of them is my Steam account switcher, if you're interested that'll be linked down below. However, today I'll be talking about this specific feature over here, these little interactive buttons that you can click on or open a new tab to go to say Twitter, get a Discord invite, as well as some information on the repository, downloads, last commit, repo size, etc. And there's a bunch of integrations that you can get to work with these little shield icons. Basically, today I'll be showing you how you can set these up on your own open source project completely for free. All right, so first of all, you'll need yourself a project. I'm going to go ahead and create myself a new private repo just so I can have something to work with that doesn't affect one of my projects currently. And I'll initialize it with a readme. So I'll go ahead and start by editing the readme file so that this shows right at the bottom of our repo. You can of course put these images inside of the wiki and other places, but most of the time they're just used in the readme. So I'll go ahead and add something here and this text on the top, preview the changes. This is what it currently looks like. Once you have yourself a simple readme as such, this is what it looks like. What you need to do is simply edit the file and head across to the link in the description down below, shields.io. When you're on this page over here, there's no sign in, there's no nothing that you need to do. You just need to pick yourself a category. And then when you've picked a category, you get a bunch of options that you can use with a small preview icon next to it. And if you wanted to, up at the very top over here, we have search slash project URL. So let's begin by adding a download counter. What exactly do we do? Well, heading back to this list page, you can see there's a download section. Heading to that, you'll see all of the different download metrics that we can add to our page such as Jenkins, JS Deliver, and of course, GitHub over here. We can have stats to show for the latest release or all releases if you wanted. So I'll go ahead and add a all releases stat. Simply by clicking on the name or the icon, we get taken to this page over here that pops up off the previous page. So all we need to do is enter a username and a repo name, and it'll go ahead and give us a little shield that we can go and add to our readme or anything else. Though because this little temporary project I have over here is private, shields won't be able to get anything from the API. So instead of using this little readme project over here, I'll rather use a real project of mine, my account switcher. I'll simply copy the project's name from up here and I'll paste it in under repo. My username is TC Nobo. as such, and clicking somewhere else, we can see the total downloads. I'll change it from flat to say plastic or flat square for the badge and social. I'll usually pick flat square, but of course you can make it whatever you want. Override label is the text as such. Override color, we can add a color with a hash here if we wanted. So let's make it say red, green, or even blue. And we can even include a named logo over here. What exactly are those? Well, heading down on the main page to over here, we can see styles. The following styles are available. Flat is the default. Examples are shown with an optional logo. So we can set them either by adding a question mark or by doing it in this little guide over here. So what exactly are the icons? Well, we can insert one of the named logos from Bitcoin, Dependabot, Discord, GitLab, NPM, PayPal, Server, Fault, Stack Exchange, Superuser, Telegram, Travis, or something from the Simple Icons Pack. And this is the Simple Icons Pack. There are a ton of names of companies and logos inside of here. So usually you'll find what you're looking for within the 1,307 SVG samples. Of course, you can search in the top left. So I'll head back to this one over here and I'll use the say GitHub logo. So I'll type in GitHub, click somewhere else, and we can see the little GitHub logo shows right before the bit of text. And we can also override the logo color to be different from the background. So I'll make it red and there we go. Then once you've found something that you like, we can go ahead and click copy badge URL, or we can click the drop down where we can copy it as markdown, ASCII doc, HTML, etc., etc. Usually for the readme, you'll be using markdown. So heading back to the readme, I'll go ahead and paste it in on this second line over here, though it doesn't really matter where you put it. Heading across to preview, you'll see exactly what it will look like. Pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and link, say, my Twitter now. I'll scroll up to the top and instead of trying to find the right category, I'll just search for Twitter. Then I'll go and add a, say, a Twitter follow and I'll enter a Twitter username at the top as it's requesting. Or of course, you can enter a custom label and override some colors and some other things. Then you can click the drop down, copy markdown, and we can paste it right into here. 
either next to our previous icon or on a new line, etc, etc. And it'll show up as you expect. Now, of course, you don't have to manually update these as they go. These will update automatically, which is pretty cool. So I'm not going to go through and show you all the examples because there are a metric ton of them. I'd highly recommend you give this a look if you're interested in any of these things. If you have no idea what you want to add, simply click on some of the different categories and see what you can. See what companies are supported, what apps and projects, etc. So looking at all of these different ones, of course, you can take your time to go and look through them. This was just a simple tutorial. Of course, if we wanted to add something like on this project over here, I've added these using HTML, which gives me a bit more customization and I can add links to it by using an anchor tag as such. Of course, you can also do this with Markdown, but I was just a bit more used to HTML at the time. This was the first public project that I was including these in and I didn't have too much experience. Though I'm not going to go too far into detail, that is how to add these little shield icons or pills, tablets, whatever you want to call them, to your readme and wiki, and it's a pretty useful little tool, especially if you want to find information at a quick glance. So either way, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!